Hello, golf world. OJ Maya, PJ Golf Coach. And what I wanted to go over with you today is how to get started at golf. So if you're new at golf, maybe you've gone to the driving range a couple times and haven't had much luck or much success, or perhaps you're someone who's been playing for a while and are struggling with the game and you want to get back to basics, this video is for you. So when I have a new golfer start, I always like to go over the parts of the club with them just so that they know what we're talking about when we're discussing the golf swing. So where you hold the club here, that's called the grip. The part here that looks like a stick, that's called the shaft. We've got this part here where the lines are, that's what we hit the ball with, that's called the club face. And then you've got this big piece here that's called the club head. So we've got grip, shaft, club face, club head. So let's get started. The first thing you need to know is how to hold the club. I like to keep things real simple. And so what I always tell a new golfer is, just put your left thumb out if you're a right-handed golfer. Think of that as a hot dog. Your right hand's gonna be the bun, and you're simply gonna put the hot dog in the bun. So when we grip the club, we put our hands on the club. Here's my hot dog, here's my bun, and there's the hot dog in the bun. So you'll notice that my fingers are touching. We wanna make sure the fingers are touching. They're not separated, like if we were playing hockey. There's some variations on the grip that you may have heard of or maybe you've experimented with. The overlap, the interlock. I'm not gonna go into any detail on those grips on this video. If you're new at golf and you do what I just showed you right here where you're putting the hot dog in the bun, you should be ready to go. Now, a very important point on the grip itself is when you hold the club in your lead hand, your left hand for the right-handed golfer, you wanna make sure that the grip is on top of the meaty pad that we have here in our hand. You don't wanna have that grip going in the lifeline of your palm because then what'll happen is when you start making bigger swings, you're gonna lose control of the club because it's gonna be moving around your grip. So now that we know how to hold the club, how do we stand at the ball? So you wanna make sure that your, your feet are shoulder width apart. You're gonna put the ball in the middle of your stance. And then I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see the weight distribution in your feet. It's best if you put the weight towards the arches of your feet. One of the biggest mistakes I see new golfers make is when they set up to the ball, they're sitting on their heels, as you can see here. I've got my weight on my heels. That's not a very good place to start your golf swing from. So you wanna make sure that you're on the arches of your feet. In terms of how far away from the ball you should be standing, you don't wanna be over here reaching for the ball, that's too far. If you have your hands in here, that's too close. So you just want your arms to hang freely from your shoulders there. Next thing is your, your, your torso. So your torso, you wanna to try to keep your back as straight as possible. So you're gonna hinge from your hips here. You're gonna keep your back straight and then just tilt forward and you're gonna stick your rear end out a little bit. So that's how you stand the ball. You take the club in your hand here. This is what it should look like right there. So now as far as getting started, what I always recommend for new golfers is hit a tee, okay? Just put a tee in the ground. If you're new at golf and you don't know what a tee is, it's this wooden peg that we put the ball on top of. Um, if you're on a driving range, there's gonna be probably a rubber tee there. So just practice hitting a tee to get started. Rather than hitting golf balls, just practice hitting a tee. So you're gonna take your stance and you're gonna go back and forth. And I want you to notice the swing that I'm making. It's just half a swing. I'm not making a full swing to start with. So basically our club head is just making a nice little happy face in space. Nice little smile in space. So again, I'm taking the club back and I'm trying to hit this tee. It's not as easy as it looks. A lot of you out there are not gonna be able to hit that tee. The most common mistake I see is people don't hit the tee, they're above, the club head is above the ground, or above the tee rather. So uh, practice with that. Now there's a couple of points I wanna make sure you, you, you're aware of. So number one is when you take the club back is make sure that your hips are not swaying off the ball this way. So you see there, that's, that's a common mistake I see a lot of new golfers make is they, they move off the ball this way. So we're just basically turning off of our back leg, our right leg if you're right-handed. You're just turning, turning, turning. So that's number one, don't sway off the ball. Number two is when you come through, make sure that the left wrist, the lead wrist, stays straight or flat. And you want that left wrist to stay straight or flat. The, thing you do not want to do is you don't want to have the club head go ahead of your hands like this. This is where I'm bending my wrist. You can see my, my front wrist is bending, my, my back wrist is bending. 
What that does is it hits the ball really high and really short, even on a short stroke like this. So when you start making bigger swings, the ball's not gonna go very far. So make sure that you don't sway, make sure that your left wrist, your front wrist is staying flat. So once you're good at hitting the tee, I would say if you can hit the tee four or five times in a row without missing it, then you're ready to introduce the golf ball. So once you introduce the golf ball, you're gonna do the same thing. You're just trying to hit that tee. And let the ball get in the way. And if you do that, you should be able to get the ball up in the air. Okay, so, so that, that's the starting point. Now, once you get good at doing that, hitting the ball off a tee on a half swing, then let's go ahead and try hitting the ground. So you can put a ball on the ground here inside of your club. You're gonna take your stance. And again, you're gonna make these little half swings, practice swings, trying to hit the ground as close as you can to where that golf ball is. And when you can, number one, hit the ground, and number two, hit the ground close to where that ball is, then you're probably ready to hit a golf ball. So when you've done that, then set up again. You're gonna put your club behind the ball. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna take the club back, try not to sway. You're gonna try to keep the left wrist flat through impact. And if you brush the grass where the ball is, the ball should go in the air pretty much every time. So once again, to review what we talked about in this video. Number one, practice hitting a tee. Once you can hit it four or five times in a row without missing it, then you're ready to try to hit a ball. Put the ball on the tee. In terms of the height of the tee, it should only be about maybe a quarter of an inch, half inch at the most off the ground. Once you get good at hitting balls off a tee on the half swings, then put a ball on the ground, practice hitting the ground. Once you get good at hitting the ground, then try to hit a ball and that's, in my opinion, the best way to get started uh, in golf. So give that a try. I hope that helps you in your journey to learn this great game that we call golf.